Hi friends, it's Larissa. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate agents level up their branding, marketing, and content creation game with Canva. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a super quick tutorial on how to make this pop-up profile picture. It's super easy to do and it is so much fun to make. So let me show you how. So here we are at the Canva dashboard and to make things a very simple, all we want to do is look for, let's see here, an Instagram square post here. This is 1080 by 1080 pixels. You can use whatever canvas you want, but in this case, we are just going to be creating just the profile image here. Now, what we're going to do is go into elements. We're going to look for the frames here. Specifically, we want this circle one. Now, what I'm going to teach you is going to really essentially work on any frame that you want, but I like the look of this classic circle one and then you popping out. So we're going to actually need two of these. So I'm just going to duplicate this by control D on my computer. Now I'm going to make this a color. So I'm going to fill this in. So choose whatever brand color you have. And then we're going to take this exact circle frame on top and just put it directly over the colored circle. Now we're going to go into my brand hub here and I have my photos here, but if you don't have your brand kit set up, no worries. Just upload a photo of yourself into here and just drag and drop. So in this case, I'm just going to take this photo here. And now what we're going to do is, of course, use the background remover with Canva. Now, this is a pro feature, as you can see, because it's super fast. And if you want to try Canva Pro for 30 days for free, check out the link in the description box down below. So now that we have the background removed, I'm also going to add another effect. And I usually like to use the drop effect or the glow effect. In this case, I'm going to go with the drop. I'm going to click on the other lines up again and then I'm just going to slightly put the offset to just the one instead of the two hit apply now make sure you hit apply give Canva a couple seconds to make sure it puts those effect properly because sometimes if you move it around it will squish the image and that's not fun so that has been properly put to the image now what I'm going to do is just take this image and I'm going to duplicate it again. Now here is what we are going to do. So first we are going to drop in this image right into that circle. As you can see, when you hover over, it's just going to automatically go into the circle. So once again, I just took this image, hover it over, and now it's inside that second circle frame. Now at this point, you just want to properly size this accordingly. Now the trick here is essentially you want to match this photo, the second photo here with this photo on top. And to kind of help me do that, what I do is turn on my rulers and guides. So shift R and just so I have proper glide guidelines in place, I'm just going to put this here. Just, I'm just going to eyeball it for now. Now what we're going to do here is a very important step is first we want to size this accordingly. So I'm just going to drag here, drag it here so it matches. So you see how I am matching the top of this line and matching the bottom of that line. And then I'm kind of just slightly popping out. So in this case, I'm just going to hit done. I'm just going to hit on the white space. And then first we need to lock this down. So I'm just going to go up to the lock button up here lock the position. I'm going to click on that one more time. So now we cannot click and drag and I accidentally moved the other circle behind. Now here's the trick. We have to put this image on top and because we created these guidelines in place, it should make it fairly easy to line this up. And now all we have to do is just go, let me just zoom in here. I'm going to turn off my grids for now, my lines and rulers. And essentially we are just going to be dragging yourself like that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now you can see closely here that it is not perfect. So you do want to just go in and just adjust with your mouse, things like that. I might pull this down just a little bit and just crop it like that. And that is pretty much your pop-out photo. Now again, it is not entirely perfect because I did use the shadow and essentially when you put the shadow together to images of the shadow against each other, it's going to make it look a little bit dark, darker. But again, this is just for funsies. Uh, it looks great on social media and there you pretty much have it. And what you can do is at this point, what I'm going to do is click this out here. So you see how it's locked here and I'm going to unlock that. And then now I'm going to click and drag with my mouse 
and I'm going to either just press this button here, group, or just go Command G on my on my keyboard, and now it's one solid image. And now what you can do is add another ring around. So in this case, if I just go, let's just do C on your keyboard for circle. Now I can go in here like this. And what I'm going to do is make this a little bit bigger and push that to the back. And if I open up positions, I can just, you know, let's just do this manually. Like that, you can do a ring around like that. Or what I like to do is kind of, is actually have a bit of space in between. So what I'm going to do is actually hollow out this green circle. I'm gonna hollow it out and I'm going to create a border like that. You can choose the width, however you choose. And I like to have just a bit of that transparency between the beige circle and that black line it's black right now but i'm going to change it to the green color like this and again if i just ungroup this i can click and drag my mouse group like that and now it's one image and i can just make this bigger and at this point what i would do is go up to my share and then we're going to download this as a png with a transparent background and yes you do need camera pro to make it transparent we're just going to download that and now what you can do is just take that image and put it into your brand hub here for your photos and then you can use it accordingly on any other social media posts you're making in canva so that is pretty much it as to how you create this pop-out profile picture if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and apparently this is what the youtube algorithm wants you to check out next so if you're ready three two one click